Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Noai. Today I am going to how you can solve this problem. This problem is uh, all about gravitational force. Uh, if you are uh, new for educational TV and if you can't see uh, the last five questions, I recommend to see that questions and come back again here. Today I am going to show you how you can solve this problem. Okay, two uniform spheres, as you can see here, two uniform spheres copper spheres and titanium spheres are positioned as shown as, as shown here uh, determine the gravitational force determine the gravitational force which the titanium sphere exert on the copper sphere here is the titanium sphere ex exert a force on a copper sphere then we can ask to determine the force that is exerted by the titanium sphere on the copper spheres then the value of r is 40 millimeters here the distance between the center of titanium sphere and the copper sphere is 6r then r is 40 millimeter you can substitute 40 millimeter in place of r and we can get the distance simply and here we can given 35 degree angle uh, that is inclined from the center of the titanium sphere to the center of the copper sphere in order to solve this problem or in order to determine the gravitational force which is the titanium sphere exerted on the copper sphere first we must know about we must know the mass of the titanium spheres and the copper spheres in order to know uh, the mass of this two titanium and copper spheres we can use different method for now i am using the concept of uh, density in order to de de determine density we can use we can determine first the, uh, the mass of the given object and the volume of the given object the mass of the given object is very important in order to calculate the density and also the volume uh, in order to determine the volume of a sphere we must know the radius of that sphere the radius of copper sphere is r is equal to 2r because it is given it is given here uh, the radius of the copper sphere is equal to 2r from the titanium sphere then the radius of the copper sphere is equal to 2 times 40 millimeters is equal to 80 millimeter radius of the titanium sphere is also radius which is equal to r and which is 14 millimeter from this we can calculate the volume of the copper sphere and the volume of the titanium sphere volume of copper sphere is equal to 4 over 3 pi r radius of the copper sphere is equal to 80 millimeters and we can get the volume of copper sphere simply by substituting this value and you can get this result after this we can calculate the volume of the titanium sphere as a same procedure because the radius of the titanium sphere is given which is 40 millimeters and uh, the other variables are known for over 3 times pi times 4 the power of 3 which is which volume of the titanium sphere is this value uh, after this the, we know the uh, the density of copper and the density of titanium which is given and the density of copper is equal to 8910 kilogram per meter cube which means uh, this value when you can convert into uh, millimeter cube the density of the titanium sphere also given and we can calculate it we can convert it by using a conversion factor conversion factor is very important in order to convert one unit from another unit and uh, it is very important in order to make our calculation easier and make sense uh, then we can calculate the mass of the copper sphere and the titanium sphere because density is equal to mass over volume uh, from this uh, relation we can calculate the mass of the object if you are given the density and the volume and the volume of the object if you are given uh, the volume and the mass and also the volume of the object if you are given the density and the mass of the object so here we can given the volume of the titanium spheres and the copper sphere and the mass of the titanium sphere and the copper sphere then you can simply calculate the mass of uh, the titanium sphere and the copper sphere by using a substitution the mass of copper sphere is equal to mass of copper is equal to density times volume of copper density of copper is also given and the volume of copper is already found before then mass of copper is here you can get this value the mass of the titanium sphere is also is equal to density of titanium sphere times volume of titanium sphere which is equal to uh, for uh, 1510 times 10 to the power of minus 9 kilogram per millimeter cube times this value and you can get simply this uh, after this uh, 